Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this church flyer design in Photoshop. And I also have a Photoshop course on Skillshare. So if you're looking to advance in Photoshop, I have a link to that in the description below. So guys, without much ado, let's get started. So to create this simple church flyer, I want to splits our window into two so you can see the image on one side while I walk you through how I designed this church flyer. I'm going to go under windows and you want to go to arrange and then you want to go all the way down to new window for whatever flyer or whatever file that is. And then you want to go back and then you want to choose just the two up vertical. So it's going to split it in two so now we have this to work with and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see this one and I'm just going to drag so we have something very small. So this comes in very handy when you are trying to sort of mimic or pick up some elements from what somebody has done or maybe your own previous flyer. Now for this church flyer design i'm using a 10 by 10 inches and the resolution is 300. so the first thing that we want to do is to go ahead and bring in our background image so i'm going to go to my folder and i'm going to drag and drop in my image now i'm not going to make this image available because this is from my church so use your own church photo i will make the font available so that you can use it in your church flyer design so i'm going to drag and drop so just click and release into photoshop and it comes in double click to accept and we are going to move this image all the way up so we want to go ahead and add a background color so go under your adjustment and click on your adjustment layer and then choose a solid color now you will have to, you will have the option of changing the color to whatever you want i'm going to set it to white click ok now you want to drag this layer to the bottom of your image layer so we have something like this so the next step is to add a layer max to our image so we can blur our image into the background so click on your image layer go under go under your adjustment add a layer max now you want to pick up your brush tool and you want to make sure that your foreground color is black now we all know black hides white reveals when working with the layer max now if your foreground color is a different color all you need to do is click on the default uh, foreground and color option and it will reset it for you now click on the arrow to set the black on top now we can go ahead and begin to erase and blend in our image with our background so if you don't see your brush head it means your cup locks is on just turn off your cup locks and you can begin to see your brush head now if your brush head size is good then you can go ahead and begin to brush it like that. Now, if you're brushing and you realize that your brush head is giving you hard edges, you need to hold down control options and you can increase or decrease your brush head or you can go under your uh, brush options and do that. But a quick and easy way to do it is hold down options and control on the Mac and you can hold down your mouse and when you when you pull your mouse up you basically reduce the hardness to zero as you can see in that little box that shows up and when you bring down your mouse it makes your brush hardness hard you start brushing and maybe your brush head is too big you do the same thing hold down control options and you can left and right with your mouse to increase or decrease your brush head thing we need to apply to our church flyer design is to add a gradient as you can see in the church flyer design on the left you want to go under your adjustment layers and you want to select gradient now it brings up the gradient dialog box 
and you can change the color obviously that's what we want to do so you want to click on your gradient and it brings up another dialog box and you want to go under your gradient type we want to change our stop color so just click on your stop color once it will activate the color and we can go ahead click on the color it opens up another dialog box and you can go ahead and change your color so i'm just going to gauge and choose a purple on the far end of our gradient we also want to change that color so just pick a purple since you already have that established click ok and ok to close this click on your shape icon which is right under your path selection so click on your shape icon and we are going to go ahead and draw a rectangle and just draw something like this now we want to fill in our rectangle so go under your property and under your property you see appearance click on your fill color and we want to use a gradient so we are going to click on our gradient option and we are going to choose this two tone now if you want a different color all you need to do is double click on your stop it will bring up the color picker dialog box and you can go ahead and choose whatever color that you want to fill that in now i'm going to go ahead and click ok you can do the same thing for the other end of your gradient as well we want to go ahead now and reduce the fill on our rectangle so we can still see our subject in the background but it's still not too much so notice i'm reducing the fill color and not the opacity so with this done you want to pick up your move tool and we want to go ahead and rotate our rectangle like this and we are just going to go ahead and scale it down and also scale it at the very top like that you can hold down your shift if it's too thick to make it a bit thinner and we are going to move that and set this in place there is a white line around our shape and we don't want that so click on your shape make sure that under your property under your appearance for the stroke you have it at zero so if it's not at zero click on your stroke effect and click on the rectangle with the red stripe it will take off the stroke effect so you don't have any white line now we want to go ahead and add a shadow so you want to click on your layer double click on your layer at the corner it will bring up the layer style dialog box so with the dialog box open you want to click on the drop shadow and you notice that it added a bit of a drop shadow now if you want your drop shadow to be much lighter you want to double click on your drop shadow and then more options are made available now you can decrease the opacity if you don't want the shadow to be too much and you can even increase the spread if you want the spread to be a little bit more and we can go ahead and click ok if you're enjoying this tutorial give this video a thumbs up so with the background for our church flyer design all set now we can go ahead and complete our church flyer by adding our text and bringing in our logos so to do that you want to go ahead and pick up your type tool you want to make sure that your foreground color is white so toggle in between your color to get it to be white and I'm going to type in join I'm going to highlight and then I'm going to make sure that my color is white and I'm going to move that layer and set that right there like that so this is join if I highlight you see that I'm using the Kanonatia font and then I'm going to make a copy of this so command J to make a copy move that to the side double click and type in so with our text in place we want to go ahead and add a shadow effect so you want to click on your text double click on it and add a drop shadow so the same effect that you did with your shape you want to do the same thing so click on your um, text now you can reduce your uh, size now when you reduce your size you basically take down the shadow spreadness and we can also increase the spread if we want or we can just set something like this and then again it's just preference and I'm just going to go ahead and increase the opacity just a little bit 
and I'm gonna click OK. Now we're gonna do the same thing for this other font, apply the same effect so you don't have to repeat it. The good thing about Photoshop is that once you create an effect, because I'm applying the same drop shadow effect, it automatically defaults to the last effect I had. So the next thing you need to do to complete your chat flyer design is to basically go ahead and add in the rest of the info. I'm gonna go ahead and add the name of the church. I'm gonna scale it down and I'm gonna set it right there. Now you can go under your property and then you can increase the spacing of your font a little bit um, under the VA and I'm going to add a drop shadow. So double click on it and you can just add a drop shadow and if it's too much, you can click on it and reduce that. So we have something more like this for the name and I'm going to go ahead and set this right there like that. If you want to increase the size, you can go ahead and do something like that. So with this in place, the next thing we want to do is that we want to go ahead and say live and bring in our zoom. So I'm just going to pick up my rectangular shape and I'm just going to draw in a box just like that. And I'll say like that. And then I'll go to my fill and fill that in with white. And we are going to click on our foreground color. We want a red. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to type in all caps live. So this is what we have in terms of the live. Now, if your red is too much, you can double click on it and we can basically change the color, make it a little bit deeper. And once you come out of it, this is what you have and this is better. So with this all set, I'm going to zoom out. Now we need to bring in our logo. So I'm going to go to my tab where I have my logos and I'm just going to drag and drop it. And I'm going to drag and drop it into this one as well. So with my move tool, you want to move this one and set that right at the top. And of course you want to move your logo and set that right by the live. Let's go back to our original image. So with this set for us, you just need to go ahead and add in the rest of your info. So we can click on our font and make a copy. Command J, make a copy, move this down and set that right here. Double click and change it to maybe the, your address or the meeting ID. That is if you're still meeting online and you can go ahead and add it. One, two, three. I'm making this up guys you know I like making stuff up so I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to choose the B bus and we're going to highlight the meeting ID and make that bold so the next thing we're going to do is to add the time now you can add the time right below your um, your meeting ID or you can choose another cool or interesting place as you can see, I have it on the bottom. So I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to click on my existing font, Command J, make a copy, move this to the bottom here and double click and I'm going to type in. So these are all the elements you need to create this church flyer design. Now to finish it off, you can either leave it like this or you can add the camera roll effect, maybe to just bump up the colors. So to do that, you want to go up to the top of your layers panel, hold down shift option command E to make one file. Now you can use the camera raw effect by going to filter and choose camera raw filter. Now you don't have to do too much. You can increase your contrast, which bumps up the color, makes it very interesting. Now, if you want to increase your vibrance, you can, but you really don't have to. And you can also maybe take back the temperature if you want. Um, but if you want to keep the richness, just leave it where it is. Just click OK. And now you can see this is the before, which was a bit more muted. This is the after, which adds a bit more of a punch. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this church flyer design. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new and you would like to get more of these tutorials, please 
subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss up on any other new uploads so if you want a shout out in my videos you can send me your your version of the chat flyer design of this to my instagram account so till next time guys please be safe and i will see you back again bye y'all